Hey there, friends. Today we are going to read a story. This one is called Bear Snores On. And this book was written by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. Wow, look at this picture. We have this great big bear. We have a black bird here, a bunny rabbit, a mole, a mouse, and these little guys here, I'm not quite sure what they are. Maybe our story will tell us what they are. Bear snores on. What do you think, what do you predict this story is about? We have our bear, he's sleeping, and lots of animals. It looks like they're doing lots of crazy things around him. Maybe they're trying to wake Bear up. Let's find out. In a cave in the woods, in his deep, dark lair, through the long, cold winter, sleeps a great brown bear. Did you know that bears sleep all winter long? It's called hibernating. So this little bear, he is hibernating through the winter. Cuddled in a heap with his eyes shut tight. He sleeps through the day. He sleeps through the night. Wow, so he is sleeping nonstop. He doesn't wake up at all. He sleeps all day and all night. The cold winds howl and the night sounds growl but the bear snores on so even though it's super windy and loud outside it doesn't wake up bear he keeps sleeping an itty bitty mouse pitter pat tiptoe Creep crawls in the cave from the fluff cold snow. So our little mouse here, he's being super quiet. Mouse squeaks, too damp, too dank, too dark. So he lights sweet twigs with a small hot spark. So our little mouse was cold and wet from the snow. So what did he do? He lit a fire. The coals pip pop and the wind doesn't stop. But the bear snores on. So even though our mouse here has a fire going and it's crackling and the wind is still going outside, our bear is still asleep. Oops. Two glowing eyes sneak peek in the den. Mice cry, mouse cries, who's there? And a hare hops in. A hare is another type of rabbit. Oh, mouse, says hare. Long time no see. So they pop white corn and they brew black tea. Wow, they made some popcorn and some tea. Have you ever made popcorn? It is not quiet. It goes pop, 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 pop all over the place. And look at this kettle. 
when this kettle is done, it makes this long ear piercing whistle. It is not quiet. Do you think Bear woke up? Mouse sips, we slurps, hair burps, big burps, but look at him. The bear snores on. Even though they're being louder, they're still not waking up Bear. A badger scuttles by, sniffs, snuffs at the air. I smell yummy yums. Perhaps we can share? Oh, so that's one of the animals I didn't know that was on the cover. It's a badger. I've brought honey nuts, Badger says with a grin. Let's divvy them up, cozy down, and dig in. And they nibble, and they munch with a chew, chomp, crunch. Does it wake the bear up? No, but the bear snores on. Have you ever chewed some nuts? They are very, very loud to eat, but it doesn't wake up bear. A gopher and a mole tunnel up through the floor. Then a wren and a raven flutter in through the door. Wow, this little den is getting super crowded. Mole mutters, what a night. What a storm, twitters Wren. And everybody clutters in the great bear's den. Look at all these animals that have gathered together. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven animals. And when all those people are talking together, it gets louder and louder. They tweet and they titter. They chat and they chitter. Does the bear wake up? No, but the bear snores on. In a cave in the woods, a slumbering bear sleeps through the party in his very own lair. Look at all these animals now. They're dancing and hopping and having so much fun. They're being so loud. But the bear just keeps sleeping. Hair stokes the fire. Mouse seasons stew. Then a small pepper fleck makes the bear... <gasps> he blows and he sneezes. And the whole crowd freezes. Oh no, so all that noise didn't wake up Bear, but some pepper made him sneeze. And what do you think Bear is going to do to all of these little animals? Let's find out. And the bear wakes up. He's no longer sleeping. Bear gnarls and he snarls. Bear roars and he rumbles. Bear jumps and he stomps. Bear growls and he grumbles. Oh no, all these animals are running. They're scared of our bear here. You've snuck in my lair and you've all had fun. But me, I was sleeping and I, I've had none. And he whimpers and he moans, he wails and he groans and the bear blubbers on. Oh no, so our bear is crying now. He's sad and upset that all these animals were having fun while he was sleeping. He didn't get to have fun with them. 
Mouse squeaks, don't fret, don't fuss. Look, see, we can pop more corn, we can brew more tea. Bear gulps, bear gobbles, he sighs with delight. Then he spins tall tails through the blustery night. When the sun peeks up on a crisp, clear dawn, bear can't sleep. Look at that, so they all had more fun and let bear join in with them. But now bear can't sleep. What do you think everybody else wants to do? But his friends snore on. Oh no, so now they're all sleeping and poor bear is left awake. The end. I hope you enjoy the story of our little bear and all the friends in his den. I will see you next time.